everybody what's up guys in this video we're going to take a look at the earliest tropical cyclone on record in the northern hemisphere got a brand new sky phenomena picture slideshow i think you guys are going to enjoy also have a video of an electrifying superstorm that erupted over the central plains april 26th video of a spectacular shelf cloud that went over the grand bahamas video sent in by vanessa s but first, we're going to look at the earliest tropical cyclone on record here at foxnews.com. Out in the eastern Pacific, far off of the Mexico coast. We looked at this the other day. In fact, we did a video about it and mentioned that this could, if it organized, become the earliest storm ever in the northern hemisphere. And it did. It became known as Tropical Depression 1E. Here's another look at it at Fox News. That's the storm. We talked about it becoming historic, and it did. So it could be a sign of things to come, as we mentioned, as an early hurricane season may be in the offing. That was about three weeks early. The storm season in the Pacific starts a little earlier than the Atlantic, starting May 15th. Storm season in the Atlantic starts June 1st. So we'll see if we have a May hurricane hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. Mile-wide asteroid safely flies past planet Earth yesterday at 19,000 miles per hour. We're going to take a look at 52768. That was exactly or a little over a mile wide. We're here at spaceweather.com and we're looking at the asteroid visible from Puerto Rico. Check this out. That's a mile-wide asteroid tumbling past the Earth. And when you can see them like that, that's just a little bit too close. That was picked up by Efrain Rivera out of Puerto Rico. Excellent little video there from Puerto Rico of the huge asteroid. So it went safely past the planet. Now we've got comets to look forward to that are that are coming in and they are putting on quite a show. Comet Swan has brightened up significantly. Look at that. Very large coma, very long tail. Reports coming in of the tail being as much as eight degrees long. That is many millions of miles. This photo here was taken by Gerald R. This is a 30 minute exposure through a 12 inch scope. He was in awe at the length of the tail. It wouldn't fit in his photo. It was so long. Um, unbelievable. This is a, a naked eye comet right now in the southern hemisphere. So this one here could put on quite a show. Comet Swan visible from the southern hemisphere. Will we be able to see it in the northern hemisphere? Yeah, more than likely. Here's another look at it in black and white. Same gentleman, Gerald Riemann. Look at that thing. Incredible. And it's still got a ways to go. It's perihelion. is isn't until May 27th. It's closest approach to Earth. It's going to be May the 12th. And we may be able to see that in the daytime, especially in the southern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere, we might be able to catch a glimpse of it. Comet Atlas, it's still out there, um, still inbound. It's just four pieces instead of one. you got to keep in mind, it's part of the great comet of 1844. And that comet, too, broke up into multiple pieces and still became named the Great Comet of 1844, so we need to keep that in mind. This one here still could be an overachiever. Don't count it out just yet. It's got a close approach with the sun on May 31st, so we might be able to see two right around the same time. There's Swan and there's Atlas. I've got some awesome video footage out of the Bahamas sent in by Vanessa S. of an incredible storm that went rolling over on the 26th of April left quite an impact on the, the people of the islands as they're not used to seeing these very high profile shelf clouds not very often anyway and this one here was quite stunning look at that i've got a video clip actually vanessa sent in two video clips from different angles here's the first one look at how low that is to the ground just jet black underneath there super dark and super large very high profile shelf cloud going over the Grand Bahamas. Once again, this was back on April the 26th. I mean, that was quite impressive. Not something you see every day. Here's another little video clip from a slightly different angle. There's one of the still images I showed you from right there. Look how low those clouds are to the ground. Bright line up there at the top. Ominous, I mean ominous looking storm clouds. Incredible video footage once again sent in by Vanessa from the Grand Bahamas. Now I've got a storm that I noticed on satellite that I'm calling an electrifying superstorm over the Great Plains back on the 28th. It was the sheer speed that this thing formed collectively. Look at that, spanned multiple states, 800 miles. 
And generally, this is on the Go 16, this is in infrared. We're going to look at it invisible, as you've already seen. But you can see it extending from basically North Texas all the way up to Lake Michigan. And it looks like one unified squall line, even though it's kind of a collection of several. They formed in right around an hour's time. Just amazing. You don't see things like that very often on here. I watch this on a daily basis. And this thing here was quite an overachiever. Then it broke into two pieces. That big piece there went down into the Gulf of Mexico, just loaded with lightning to the tune of about 2,000 to 6,000 per hour. There goes that storm again. Like I said, it was quite an electrifying event. I wouldn't even know how many lightning strikes were embedded in that storm. Probably impossible to even count. I did see rates of over 2,000 in 15 minutes, so that gets up into the 8,000 per hour range at times. Here's a visible look at the clouds reaching up towards the stratosphere. Look at how quick they go. Just amazing. And then there's a map. It actually is longer than 800 miles because they went clear down into North Texas, but just overall around 800 miles long, and it looks like a squall line. Squall lines aren't usually over 20, 25 miles long. Right down here's the time. Did it in just over an hour. Very, very impressive. And I've also got some photos of the storm as it was going over Kansas. As the event was unfolding, sent in by Hennig. Very, very impressive storm forming over the Great Plains. Also in this video, I've got a picture slideshow I've been working on. New sky phenomena that have been sent in from all around the world. James S. from Apache Junction, Arizona. There are some incredible photos. And this is a video clip sent in by James. Paula C. out of Arkansas. Storm clouds, Mammatus, very low clouds that look kind of like cotton balls up in the sky. Incredible photos. Corona, California, Alexis H. Close up of the sunset, setting off in the distance out over the Pacific Ocean. Here it is just prior to dipping down below the horizon. Cindy S. out of Toledo, Illinois. Spectacular sunset. Look at that. North Hollywood, California. Geo Serrano, big halo around the sun, visible from North Hollywood. Here's some photos of a storm Henning sent in from Leroy, Kansas, as it formed very quickly over Kansas. And there's some more Mammatus clouds. He said it was a very impressive storm system. Here's some more storms from the same general area, Maud, Oklahoma, sent in by John. Look at that. Looks like cobwebs up in the sky. Karen R., Big bright cloud up there, looks like a planet just lurking up in the clouds. Lena M, storm over the Irish Sea. Big orange clouds up above the green ocean or greenish blue ocean. Melanie M from AZ, Texas. More ominous looking storm clouds. After all, it is storm season. New Braunfels, Texas, Robert J. Not quite sure how to even describe that. I don't know if that's a funnel. What do you call that? Look, here, you tell me. See how it's kind of wrapped around there? And it comes around into the middle. It almost looks like a horizontal, twisted funnel cloud of some sort. I don't know. He felt very compelled to take photos of it. So would I. Spencer out of Toronto. Fiery orange sunset. And we've also got another close-up of the sunset. And I like this one because of the trees. I think those are trees that were in the actual sunset. Look at that. Just an amazing photo sent in by Alexis out of Corona, California. Good job, guys. Keep the photos coming. I have many more that I'm working on. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, just double check. Make sure they're both still turned on and activated. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery, and sometimes I'll use them in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.